Good morning. My name is Kezia and today we are going to talk about choice making with the communication software called ProLoquo to go This is Sienna. She is five years old and she is nonverbal. She does make different sounds. Her main communication is through an application called ProLoquo to go This is Seneca. Say hi, Zen. She is Sienna's two-year-old sister, and she helps us by modeling and showing Sienna how she thinks she should communicate. This morning, we will be making some choices about the order of breakfast. We use this application called Prolo Quo to Go. You can see we have it on iPad games right now. But if you click the home button, we have foods that we've created using the actual picture of the food. My food. The application will speak to you as you make the choices. Now you can see there's a lot of black spacing here. And that is because we have hidden several of the food items because that's not what's for breakfast today. You can see this morning she has a choice between milk, apples, and bacon. We are going to give her the iPad and let her make that decision. Okay, Sienna, what would you like for breakfast? Bacon. bacon, bacon. You want bacon? Okay, we can have some bacon. Here's your bacon. Now during breakfast, Sienna sometimes needs some sort of distraction to actually pick up the food and put it in her mouth. It's not that she doesn't want the food, it's just difficult for her to actually touch and put the food in her mouth. She uses the iPad almost like a security blanket where she plays games to distract herself and then she actually feeds herself. Now, not only is she gonna make a choice about the food she's gonna eat, she is going to make a choice about the game that she wants to play while she eats. So we've created this folder called iPad Games. iPad Games. And there's several games that she can scroll through and choose. And then when she makes a selection, we put that game on and we lock it so she has to stay in that game. And she can maneuver around and play other games. She knows how to get to that folder but we want her to communicate with us and tell us that she wants to play a different game. What game do you want to play? Are you sure? School bus. You want to play school bus? her school bus game. No. And sometimes she needs a little bit of encouragement to self-feed. She's only been self-feeding for a short time. She does go up. There she goes. Yay! Zen, what do you want to eat? What is that? Can you say that? Apple. Can you sign it? It's daddy. That's right, Apple. Zeneca is really good at communicating. We've been watching baby signing time since, probably since she was born. And the girls both really love that program. Zeneca actually combines her signing and her language to help us understand her better. Sienna has finished her bacon. Now we are going to make a new food selection. We are first going to hide the bacon because she already ate that and we don't want her to get frustrated if she selects that and I don't give it to her. We're gonna select the bacon and we are gonna actually, we can dim it or we can hide it. And in this case, we are gonna hide it. Now all the items, let's see, where's the done? are things that she likes to eat. We want this to be a positive experience. If she hits milk and she really wanted apples, she'll probably still drink the milk, but 
the whole point is she is making the decision and it helps her with her confidence and enjoyment of eating by telling us what she wants to eat versus us telling us what she has to eat. Okay, Sienna, would you like milk or do you want apples? Apples. Apples it is. Here are your apples. Here we go. You're hungry. She really likes apples and it, since she's been eating for a little bit, it's a little easier for her to eat without a distraction. I'm still gonna let her play her iPad games and make that decision. Okay, yeah. Sienna, which game would you like yeah. to play? Yeah. Con. Con. Con, okay. Sienna has finished eating her apples and now it's time for her last decision. We will hide the apples from the screen by selecting apples. Oops, actually selecting the pencil and then selecting apples. And changing the visibility to hidden and selecting done. Now the only thing left on the screen is the milk. Let her make that decision now. Okay, Sienna, what would you like? Milk. Milk? Okay. <laughs> well, Sienna did really good today. She did a great job making choices and what you didn't see is she actually ended up verbalizing. When I asked her if she wanted the milk, she actually sounded out and said milk. It was, I'm a little frazzled right now because she's never said that before, but it was awesome. So I hope you got some information from this video. And if you want more or have any suggestions, please leave it in the comments.